and welcome back to my channel. I created this colorful rainbow pride inspired look for you guys in honor of my birthday being on the 26th and it is also the day that same-sex marriage had become legal in the United States a year or two ago. So I am honored to share a birthday with such an amazing milestone for us. I am straight but I do support the LGBT community 100%. I support being you 100% and I support you guys being happy 100%. So no matter what sex you are, no matter who you love, I support you guys 100%. So if you guys are new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and let's go ahead and get into this Rainbow Pride inspired tutorial. So for this eye look, I've already prepped my lids with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I've set it with some powder just to help blend the shades a lot more smoother. And then we're just going to go ahead and dive into the colors. And for this look, I'm going to be using the Morphe 35B palette. This palette is just so gorgeous and bright and colorful. So I'm going to be doing one eye yellow, red, orange, and the other eye is going to be the green, blue, purple. Alright, so before I start anything, I want to sit down and transition. So I'm just going to go ahead and dip into this nice skin toned matte shade right here. And I'm just going to be using my MAC 217 brush. And I'm just going to put this as my transition shade. Alright, so for the right side, I am going to be doing the yellow, orange, and red shade. So I'm going to go ahead and dip into this beautiful, vibrant yellow. I'm going to stick the yellow in the inner corner. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add this orange real quick to my transition shade. I'm probably going to be jumping a little bit all over the place. I really think this is a beautiful transition shade, this orange right here. And it's really going to help to connect a lot of the colors for this side. Now I'm just going to use this orange again. And this is going to go in the center of the lid. And I'm just going to pat this on. And this is still like a rough sketch. Everything's going to be more fine-tuned. I'm just going to go ahead and dip into this red shade. And the red shade is going to go on my outer third. And we're just going to tuck that in. And just buff that into the crease. And then I'll use a little bit of that yellow to blend. Right, now that I have a majority of that to sit down, I'm going to go ahead and brighten everything up using my MAC Fix Plus. I'm just going to go ahead and dip into the orange shade first. We'll start off at the center. I'm just going to spray that so this can be a little bit more pigmented. I'm going to dip into this yellow and I'm just going to spray it with some Fix Plus as well. Then I'm going to do the same for the red shade. I'm just going to go ahead and spray that. I'm just going to deepen this outer area just a little bit with some black, just very lightly though. Don't go too overboard with the black, just start out lightly and build up as you please. I'm going to be taking my E36 brush and it's just this very small detailed brush. I'm just taking this black to deepen the crease a little bit. And just lightly outline the outer third. So I'm just going to clean that up real quick with a makeup wipe. I'm just going to add a little bit more black to this outer corner though. Alright, so I think that eye is pretty decent. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the other eye now. Alright, this eye I'm going to go ahead and put green on the inner corner. I'm just going to go back to my MAC 217. I'm going to mix these two greens together. Yeah, that looks good. And I'm just going to go ahead and tuck that into my inner corner. For my transition shade on this side, I'm going to use this more bluish green, very lightly, and just put that on my... Alright, so we're going to go ahead and jump into the blue, so I'm going to be using these two shades mixed. This is going to go on the center, and I'm just going to pack the center like I did the orange, and then we'll touch everything up later. Alright, so for the purple, I am going to be taking these two shades right here mixed, and I'm just going to tuck this onto my outer corner. bring this into my transition crease area and blend that in. I'm just going to go back to this transition shade and just blend things together. 
Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and start making everything a little bit more pigmented using my MAC Fix Plus. And I'm going to go off starting with the blue. I'm going to dip back into those two shades and then spray my brush. And then I'm just going to do that same thing with the purple. And then we're just going to do the same thing again with the green. And then I'm just going to do the same thing with the black on the outer corners. Right, I'm just going to go ahead and clean up this side now. Now that I have the top portion of my eyes done, I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup real quick. And I will be right back, you guys. Alright, so I went ahead and did my eyes off camera and I also did my face for tune off camera using this Sonica Blend Brush from Michael Todd Beauty. I am going to be having a review on this product specifically, so you should be seeing that by next Wednesday or the Sunday following. Probably around 4th of July is when this video will be going up. If you guys want to see how I got this flawless finish, watch out for that review. I just went ahead and did my eyelashes and my eyeliner off of camera, so I'm going to go ahead and do the lower lash line and apply some lip. I'm going to go ahead and take my MAC 217 brush and I'm just going to mimic what I have on the top for each eye. Alright, so to apply the shadow on my lower lash line, I'm going to be taking the E18 brush from Morphe and this is just a nice small domed blending brush. And I'm going to go ahead and dip back into that red and put this on the outer corner. And then we're going to go into the orange and this is going to go in the center of the lower lash line. And then I'm going to go into that yellow, and this is going to go on the, the very inner corner. And I'm just going to go ahead and dip into this shimmery yellow right here just to kind of highlight the inner corner for this side. And then for this side, I'm going to go ahead and dip into my purple. And then I'm going to dip into my blues. That's going to go on the center. And then I'm going to dip into my greens. And that's going to go on the inner corner. And then I'm going to go ahead and dip into my Alchemist palette from Kat Von D. I'm going to be taking the emerald shade and placing that on the inner corner for this eye. I just went ahead and put some black into my waterline. And then I'm just going to add some mascara to the lower lash line real quick. Alright, so to do my lips, I'm going to be taking Anastasia's Liquid Lip in the shade Milkshake. And then I'm also going to be taking Lancome's Liquid Metal in the shade Mirrored Nude. And I'm going to layer this on top of the Milkshake from Anastasia. Alright, so this is the finished look, and then you're just going to spray some MAC Fix Plus, and you guys are all finished. I hope you guys really enjoyed this rainbow pride-inspired tutorial for you guys, and if you guys want to see more colorful looks like this, leave your comments down below of what you guys would like to see, and if you guys want to see more colorful looks just like this, Go ahead and leave your comment down below of what you would like to see, and I'll recreate that for you guys. So if you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, because I do post videos twice a week, Sunday and Wednesday for you guys. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on a video. I hope you guys have an amazing day, and peace out.